Real quick, shout out to the Chop Shop for having your boy. It's the one and only Bishop King DC. I represent the South Side, Mattapony 57 Trill Fam to the day that I pass away. You know what I'm talking about? I love my city. I love what we're doing. Keep pushing, keep grinding. Love yourself. Grind harder. Grind smarter. Be smarter. Be that nigga. Be that woman that you was born to be. You know what I'm talking about? Thanks to the Chop Shop once again for having your boy Bishop King, man. I really definitely appreciate you, you know what I'm talking about. Okay! First of all, first thing is, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. You dig? So I'm an actor. I'm a radio host. I'm a singer. I write. I'm a published poet. I got a book coming. And I rap. I'm a well-rounded artist. I give back, I'm a community activist, I do my part to help out with my community, you know, uh, I voice my opinion on a lot of things and just, you know, giving advice off of things that I've been through in life, so I feel like I'm paying it for. You got rock and roll stars, you got jazz stars, you got go-go stars, you got R&B stars, you got pop stars, you know, you got movie stars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got Broadway stars. Like, and the list can go on and on. And, and these people are in their 40s and 50s and 60s. And you got some, you know, some people who feel like rapping after 35 or 35 and up or 30, for, for that matter, is too old. That shit makes no sense. Rap is the only category that you can't be old doing what you love to do. Like, why be scared, you know what I mean, to... Follow your dreams and do what you do to make you happy. Getting it done. You know what I mean? Like, why stop it because you turn 30? It don't make sense. Like, making money is good till you're going to stop when you get 40. Nah, that's what you do. That's what you need to keep going. That's what makes you who you are. Don't stop, man. Don't let these people put you in the box. Do what you do. Man, look, 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 look. I be joking about the inbox and stuff, right? It be true. Them joints do be in there heavy. But, <laughs> but uh, I'm single right now because, man, it's hard to find somebody who can deal with the, the lifestyle I live. Like, I'm always on the go. I'm always busy. Um, I fear nothing in this world, but I fear... And if I trust somebody, you know what I mean? I done already gave my love to the wrong people all this time. So I feel like, I don't know. I can't even explain it, man. But I do know, you know, all women ain't bad. You know, I love women. I love beautiful women, which is another problem. I love women. I love beautiful women. I love sexiness. I love beauty. I love cheeks. I love thickness. You know what I'm talking about? Like pretty faces and pretty toes. You did. So it's like it's hard to, it's not hard to be faithful, but I got to stay on the go. I got to have something new. I mean, I'm just not ready. So I ain't going to fuck up somebody else's life because I got to have something new. Or I ain't ready. And I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. So that's what it is, man. I, I ain't got nothing else other than that. That's just what it got for therapy. At first it was a... Uh, it was just me expressing myself because I felt like I ain't had nobody to talk to as a youngin. And I ain't had nobody to listen to me for real. Everybody was out here fitting for self, trying to figure it out. So how can they help me? They still trying to figure it out. Even grown folks at that time fame was even drunks or, you know, they was on drugs, they was alcoholics or whatever the case may be, had their own little problems. So I started writing and, you know, uh, I started listening to Death Row and Tupac made it that much better for me to rap. Like, I felt like he was speaking for me, speaking to me. And then here comes UGK and Pimp C. I felt like he had that attitude that I had. And I'm like, damn, you can say that? So I'm like, shit, I can say whatever I want and how I feel. And I ain't got a lot of nobody because at that time I was young. I ain't got a lot of these adults. I'm going to tell them how I really feel. You know what I mean? So... This is how I, it just was basically expressing myself without punishment, without fear of being reprimanded for it. You dig? So at the end of the day, I just felt like these two niggas real. They saying whatever the fuck they feel, and they don't give a fuck how you feel about it. And that's just how I was. That was just my whole attitude as a young and I'm not out there to oppress nobody. So 
they just made it that much easier for me and it was therapy so Pimp C, Tupac, my favorite rappers of all time and um, if you listen to Bishop King then you can hear some of that. Before I go man, I just want to say love yourself, um, take care of yourself, make sure that you understand that nobody's going to respect you more than you, nobody's going to love you more than you, so you got to get that understanding. Then you gotta understand that everybody is not gonna move how you move. That's what we fail. That's what we mess up at, thinking everybody gonna move how we move, and we get hurt easily, we shut down, and then the people that's really keeping it 100 with it, we shut them out. So we gotta do better as a people, we gotta do better as a community, better as a whole. Keep your head up, man. Remember, it's not about how many people you can shit on, but how many people can you pull up, you dig? Um, Quick message to the ladies, man, to show some more self-respect. Uh, love yourself, man. Like, these dudes know you love yourself first, so it's not going to be a, I'm just jumping in her inbox trying to get some draws or see what that thing do, see what that mouth do, shit like that, man. We're going to come at you with a different, whole different level of respect because we see you respecting yourself, and we know you ain't having that bullshit. And a shout-out to all the single moms, man, who grind it hard. Also, to the dads, man, listen, step up, man. Uh, fight a little bit harder in court. Do whatever you, that you need to do, man, for your kids. They don't know what's going on. They really don't, probably don't care what's going on. They just want to see mom and they just want to see dad. What it do is the one and only Bishop King represent the DMV, DC to be exact. Shout out to the Chop Shop for having your boy. Okay! <laughs>